Hello and welcome. My name is Gareth Fleck. And in today's video, I'm going to speak about how I manifested myself a room in a mansion on the hill looking over my city that's completely blown my mind. Okay, so I've been using Neville Goddard's method. I've been following Neville, Neville Goddard for about a year and a half now, but recently fully being indulging in his teachings and methods about how to imagine what you want and then God, your imagination will bring it forward into your life. So once you impress the subconscious mind with your desire, it has no option but to bring it into your life and rearrange the outer world to reflect the inner vision that you have. So I've been using a few methods. I've been using the positive I am statements, affirmations. I've been writing down my desires in the I have, I, you know, I own, I receive context and visualization visualizing things and just as i fall asleep assuming the wish fulfilled so creating an end scene that implies my wish is fulfilled and bring myself to a state where i feel it's so real and i fall asleep in that state and the results are just astounding i just you have to do it yourself because once it happens you're just mind blown so i'll go through each method I've been using that. Okay, so I'll just start by showing a few things I've written down um, that go along with this. I have a beautiful home with a pool that overlooks the city. This place doesn't actually have a pool, but there's a pond there, but it's a beautiful home that overlooks the city. What have I written here? I have a beautiful home on the hill with an amazing view. I've written lots more, but I won't read it all. But that's another, another one. And what have we got here? Own a, I own a beautiful white house on the hill. So I don't own this house. I'm renting because the one I own is still manifesting. I've created a full house in my mind that I walk through every night that I know is going to come to fruition, but it's just in the buffering stage. But for now, I've secured a beautiful house with beautiful people. What else have I written here? I love my beautiful house on the hill. That was the 23rd of the 4th, 2021. Do you know how I know this house has come from my imagination as well? Because I've been drawing up the house that I'd like. in here, it says my room, you know, room bathroom wardrobe there's a ensuite in my bathroom and the wardrobe's right next to it outdoor room outdoor there's a patio here i've got drawn couches here i've got a couch there a patio here that looks over the city and even i even drew like this triangle arch and there's a triangle arch and you know it really blew my mind when i realized this as moving in with my brother he's like dude there's a tree house with a tire swing. And I've been imagining in my house, in my head, that there's a big tree that has a tire swing in a tree house. Now, I'll actually show you. And this is just a tree with a tire swing. <laughs> there's a tree hut, or not, there's a little tree house built with a tire swing hanging from it. Like little details like that, it's just like, what it's not like exact but this house is beautiful you've seen from the intro the house in my head I've been working out you know I walk through it every night it's the one I own and this is more than I could imagine and that's what they say God's God's works you know his ways are more powerful than yours and the print you know God is we commune he's in the center of our being and you know what we imagine we're giving it to him. And it says, you know, um, when you pray, act as if you have it and you will type along those lines. Sorry if this keeps going out of you. And I actually look a bit tired because I've just been moving all weekend and I didn't sleep because I'm so excited about it. I wanted to make this video. So yes, I've been writing down in the positive I am, I have, and I've been when I go to sleep, this is what really blew my mind. It's because I'd lay there 
and imagine myself that I'm not in the house that I'm in, that I'm in my dream house, or I'm on the hill. And in my imagination, you know, I must up in my, my mind, I'll be laying there in the room I've created. And to the left of me, in my imagination, I would be looking out the window as I lay there and being able to look over the city. I'll just take this camera for a second. I don't know if you can see, but this is my bed. If you imagine it, you can create it. Um, looking over the left, looking over the city. So it's a very imaginal scene that I've been creating. So I would <clears throat> create the scene in my mind to the point where it feels real and I'm convinced that I'm there and then fall asleep. So I've been doing this quite a lot, walking through the house and everything. But that one specific scene that I created, it's a wee loop that I just lay there, look over the city and be like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I only just started doing that recently. And it's now just, you know, at the first night I was here, I laid down, looked out, and I just went, <laughs> got all excited because I was like, oh my God, this is the vision that I had created in my mind. And it sounded as beautiful. And I have a beautiful little workspace out there and everything that I wanted. So, yeah, it's just insane. And I love it. <clears throat> I manifested myself out in debt doing the same thing you create a we a scene in your mind that would imply the wish fulfilled so i wouldn't create how i do it i'm here i've got my desired state so I, what would imply that i'm in the house on the hill not oh, me laying in the bed looking out the window over the hill being happy and you loop it and loop it until it feels real and you muster the feeling up that it feels real, like, you know, like, oh my gosh, I've done it, I've done it. I did the same with the money. I imagine there was um, 20 grand <clears throat> in my account and I just keep seeing it in my account and to the point where it felt so natural and real. Next thing you know, my Kiwi saver, I gave a 25 grand in interest, like what? And that was in two months. So this is really powerful. Write it down. Write down what you want in the I am, I have. Imagine, see yourself, feel it into reality. As you create your little scene, just create a wee loop scene. Um, even with my friend, Jack, I'd written down um, that he would tell me that my manifesting's um, really working. And I seen him in my mind's eye, like sitting there telling me, gosh, Gareth, you're like manifesting's really working. I'm like, I know, it's changed my life. And just the other day, he was like, oh, what did he, he said something to me about along those lines that um, it's really paying off. And <laughs> I, was, I had to show him, I was like, look, I wrote this down, it was quite funny. But yeah, the way this all came about, it, it happened so naturally and out of the blue and unexpected. So I've been living with some great friends um, by the beach in a beautiful house and we our lease was running up and the people wanted to sell the house we're like oh no we need to find a home we need to find a home and I was like look guys I'd love to live on the hill love to live on the hill we're like oh cool we'll try to get a house in the hill applied for heaps got rejected by so many um, we got accepted for one but then it fell through and I was like, okay. And that one on the hill, I was like, this isn't the vision that I had. Like it kind of had, had it, but I was like, this isn't fully it. Um, and time went on. And then we just keep getting rejected. But then we got right to the last, I think, week that we had to be out. And then we ended up accepting a house that, I don't know, uh, we, you know, we, I felt like we had to take what we had to, but it wasn't perfect for me. And I was like, I was like, okay, I accept to go into that house. And I was like, what? This isn't supposed to happen. You know, my imaginal act, like, God, I've been, you know, a feeling, it feels so real. It feels natural. How is this not happening? And then my friend, like, he messaged, mentioned to me, he's like, oh, you should speak to Michael, who's my new flatmate. I love, it. love beautiful people. If you're watching this, I love you. Thank you so much for accepting me into the house. He's like, he's moved into a mansion on the hill and he might be needing a flatmate. Um, just, you should hit him up. And he's like, he told me about two months ago. So I did, I was like, I just messaged him. And he didn't see my message or, you know, he had, I hadn't seen it. 
And I was like, oh, a couple of days went past. I was like, okay, he hasn't seen it. Damn. Um, and then they posted on Facebook, hey, we got this ridiculous house in the hill um, looking for a, a beautiful flatmate type situation. And I was like, oh, okay. He hasn't seen my message, but they posted it. So I messaged again. And then I said to my friend, I was like, oh, I've messaged him. Um, and he's like, oh, I messaged other flatmates. So I messaged her, Simba, and she was like, okay, he's going away on tour. Um, you'll have to come next week. And I was like, okay, all right, that's not going to really work because I'll be moving. And, you know, I need it. I was in the last week. So I was kind of anxious and getting nervous that I had to move into this other house. So I was like, no, 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 I, I deny that. I deny that that's not real. Um, and I just sat and meditated and imagined... <laughs> I was at this house and Michael, the flatmate, was hugging me and was like, oh, I can't wait to live with you. I'm so excited. And I imagined it over and over until it just felt so real. And I got so excited and I was like, oh, gosh, OK. And I went to sleep. I woke up and he and Michael had messaged me at 4, 4.20 in the morning going, hey, bro, I'm leaving for tour today. If you want to check that oh tomorrow, um, if you want to check the house out, come. And I was like, he's like, you had to come at 6.30 tonight. And I was like, oh my gosh. What the f and I was like, okay. Next thing I'm here, mom, you know, we spoke and they're like, yeah, we'd love to have you move in. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So then I, yeah, I had to end up speaking to my other flatmates who I love dearly. Um, but yeah, declined the other house and <sighs> took this big opportunity and my manifestation has now come to fruition and it's blowing my mind more and more. And it happens the most natural, natural way. You know, I just said, I applied the faith, had the faith that it was going to work out, that I was going to be on the hill because I was on the hill in my mind. And I, you know, what you imagine, like, that's your true self. Um, and yeah, that I am within me the Christ, the imagination, the power of God is your imagination and anything is possible. If your outer world's showing you difference, you deny it. No, because this is the real me in my mind. This is what I've created. And then you stay true to it and out of nowhere, the most random, unsuspected way the manifestations come. And I'm just so excited because... <sighs> I've tested it over and over and it just keeps working, working and working. So I don't have fear about things now, any situation, because I know the savior, my manifestation, my imagination, I can imagine myself out of situations or into new ones. And it's, you know, it's bringing me so much beauty and loving friends and, oh, sorry, I get a bit overwhelmed because I, about, I guess two years ago, I was like wanting to like, you know, end life type thing. And then, yeah, I called out to God and got led down this path of realizing <laughs> and finding God within me to change my life. And <laughs> two years later, it's just like, whoa, like I was in a shitty rundown house, like crying myself to sleep. Um, <laughs> bike into work, tires flat, you know, because I was thinking negative all the time. And as soon as I <laughs> learned about the power of our mind and imagination and God, just my life completely transformed. And now I live on this mansion of you know, successful business and beautiful friends and family and loving people and just love everywhere. <laughs> you can do it as well. You just, you know, the kingdom is within. God is within you. Do you not know Christ is within you? It says it. And I found him to be my imagination. And he's always here. And um, another method is just keeping your mind on God as, as well. Repeating positive affirmations in God, like I am God, God and me. Where I am, God is. The ground I walk is holy ground. I can do all things through God, you know, um, I have the power of God, the strength of God, 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 God. Everyone I see, uh, God is individually expressed for each person. So when I see people, I just, you know, I look past the, the little flesh suit we're given and, you know, can see the pure, the one God 
that's in every single being, person, thing. There's only God. And once you've realized this and just keep your mind on it and beautiful things just happen. And, you know, I don't feel anxious or fear or anger or anything anymore. Like, I've had, yeah, lots of, <laughs> that's pretty wild. But yeah, I'm so excited. And I just wanted to share my story with you and let you know that you can do this. Create a scene that implies your wish fulfilled and just loop it, give it the tones of reality. What do you see, hear, smell, taste, touch? How does it feel? You know, really work yourself into a state that it feels real and then you fall asleep <laughs> and then out of nowhere, you'll just have random job opportunities or beautiful people or relationships come into your life or live in a mansion on the hill looking over the city yeah yeah you can even imagine yourself healthy and happy until you know feel it into reality and it will become true but yeah i suggest looking up neville goddard um the feeling is a secret i think there's quite a few books. There's lots of lectures online. Or you can follow my We Manifestation Monday videos on Facebook at Gareth Sacred Healings. And yeah, let me know your stories below if you are using Neville Goddard's method or any imagination, self-talk. Just let me know your successes. And if you want to know more, message me. We could work together one-on-one -on -one or anything but yeah so this is how I I mean I'm sorry I'm just so overwhelmed it's a beautiful manifested a, a beautiful house on the hill and I'm excited for all the opportunities going to come my way I love you so much namaha peace be on your soul oh actually there's one more method you see the vision in your mind's eye you loop it, then you bring it to your heart. And you say, shream, S-H-R-E-E-M, shream, shream, shream. And that's Maha Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance and love is the energy. It's a beautiful energy that will flow into you. And if you just say shream over and over and over, say it like, you know, visualize it, bring it to your heart, say shream nine times, and you'll feel the warmth in your heart. And your outer world will change to reflect the inner state. Because once you impress the subconscious mind, the outer world has to reflect back. And it doesn't matter how big it is, how small it is. Everyone plays their role as I'm playing a role in your life. If you're watching this, you've manifested me to share my story, to encourage you to keep going and have faith. That no, I love you so much. Thank you for watching and peace be on your soul. I love you. Goodbye.